Good afternoon. What a great afternoon it is to, to be out here. And we're here to acknowledge a very significant step forward in the effort to restore and re rehabilitate the Cabrillo Bridge. And as we all know, this iconic structure has been getting some much needed attention over the past several months. And today, we are inviting people to resume driving across this very iconic and historical span. As you can tell by the applause, this is indeed a very big moment in this project. And I am joined by many of the folks who made this possible, including our Park and Rec Director, Herman Parker, thank you for being here. Lori Berman, our Director of Caltrans District 11. Of course, our City Council President, Todd Gloria. And as you can see, many of the men and women who have been working on this project from the very start. And this wonderful span was designed as the ceremonial gateway for the 1915 Panama, California Exposition. And it was built by hand back then. Imagine that, it was built by hand and is now being restored by hand in preparation for the centennial of, of course, the celebration of the Expo. And as all of us, I think, know, this has not been a simple process. Uh, but it's been one that in talking to the, all of the folks that have been working on it, they've taken a great deal of pride because they are true, have truly been working on a San Diego historical, very important landmark from the city. There have been many challenges, including uh, lifting inside of the span all of the materials and very tight spaces of this bridge. And the crews that have jo are joining us here today behind us have worked very hard to ensure that this structure, this bridge, will last for another 100 years for generations of San Diegans to enjoy. And I think all of us who are here today understand how important this bridge is to all of our cultural institutions in Balboa Park. And everyone has worked very hard over these last several months to safely speed their work to reopen this bridge to traffic, which we celebrate that today. They've done a great job. And as you can tell by looking at it, returning the bridge deck to the smooth surface its first, when it first saw its visitors over 100 years ago. And now I'm going to turn over to uh, Lori Berman first of Caltrans, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the work that brought us here today and the great job that the crews have been doing uh, on behalf of San Diegans. Lori? Thank you, Mayor Faulkner, for the opportunity to say a few words on this very special day. As Caltrans District Director for San Diego and Imperial Counties, I've been a part of many events to both break ground and events that open new transportation options to the public. Many of those projects have been significant in reducing congestion, giving the public more transportation choices, and using technology to better manage traffic. But the reopening of this 770-foot long bridge deck may not change the transportation landscape of the region, but it does bring residents and visitors alike into the heart of San Diego's history and culture. The retrofit of the Cabrillo Bridge is similar to renovating a turn-of-the-century house, only on a much larger and more complex scale. What you see on the outside may hide various issues that come with old age. I make this comparison to illustrate the thoroughness and the attention to detail that's needed to bring this bridge up to modern day standards without taking away a, history, a century of history and aesthetic charm. A critical component to all Caltrans projects is communication and coordination with our partners. These two tasks are just as important as identifying funding and placing new concrete. A project over a highway adjacent to a popular tourist attraction and just a stone's throw from residences is bound to inconvenience the public. The ongoing communication through social media sites, newsletters, and word of mouth between the City of San Diego, civic organizations, businesses within the park, and nearby neighbors allows construction to proceed with minimal delays and gives us a way of addressing construction-related concerns quickly. I would like to sincerely express my appreciation for the patience of park patrons, pay, park patrons, excuse me, <laughs> residents and businesses during the retrofit of the 100-year-old structure. The opening of this deck signifies our halfway mark on the project. There's still a lot of work to be done to inside and, and on the outside of this landmark, 
Towards the end of the year, motorists on 163 will start to see new landscaping alongside the bridge and the addition of artistic uplighting under the bridge arch spans will be complete in time for the centennial in 2015. As we near completion of this project to preserve this grand structure for future generations, I ask for your continued patience and your diligence to obey traffic laws that are in place to keep all of our workers, all these folks you see behind me, to keep them safe while they work in, on, and around this bridge. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lori. And in addition to standing as a very physical tribute to our civic identity, this bridge, of course, is a functional part of our transportation network. It links the communities of Bankers Hill and Hillcrest to the park. And keeping the deck closed over the past few months, as Lori has said, has changed a lot of routines for nearby residents. And of course, I want again want to appreciate Caltrans working very closely with the city uh, in terms of lessening that impact uh, as much as possible. And it's been, a, you know, there's a lot of great things happening. We now have a new tram that is making it easier to park our cars and enjoying a brief ride to all of our favorite museums and cultural institutions here in the park. And of course, recently completed major improvements to the Alcazar Garden parking lot and planning a host of other improvements to the park in the next several months. The guy that's been on the forefront on that, who's been a champion for this park and what it means to our neighborhoods and to our residents, uh, has been our council president, Todd Gloria. Um, you will find nobody who's working harder and continues to work hard to do the right thing in Balboa Park. It's now my pleasure to introduce our council president, Todd Gloria. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And back at you, uh, Kevin, is always, when he was on the council, was always a great partner in making sure we kept the park moving forward. And as mayor, he has not missed a beat in making sure that continued investment happens in our city's crown jewel. Uh, I want to say it's a great day to be in Balboa Park. That's really true of every day, but today in particular, when we are helping to mark the miles, this milestone of the reopening of our historic Cabrillo Bridge. Isn't it exciting to see this tremendous progress for our community? There's a lot of thank yous that have to go out. And first and foremost, I want to thank Lori and Caltrans for their commitment to this project. You know, when we uh, started this project back around Christmas time, uh, we had uh, some hope that we can get this done in the springtime. Uh, but I don't know if you've ever been involved in a, in a remodel of your house or some sort of construction project. These things tend to go a little bit longer. Just imagine what it means for a 100-year-old historic resource in one of our most uh, uh, popular uh, tourist attractions uh, in, the, in our city. And so things took a little bit longer. And and why I want to thank Lori for just the commitment to the project, I want to thank her and Caltrans for the additional resources they brought to bear to make sure that we got the bridge reopened as soon as possible. So Lori, thank you so much for your commitment to the park, to this project, and for dedicating additional resources when they became necessary. To put it into context, this project is a $38 million investment in Balboa Park, $38 million. And while we're celebrating this particular milestone, as Lori said, is about the halfway point, you can think about what that approach down the 163 is going to look like when the full project is completed in a few more months. Just think about lighting the, par lighting the bridge for the first time ever and what that will look like to further amplify. Think about the vision when you're landing at Lindbergh Field and be able to look out the window and see the bridge in all its glory. It's going to signal to people that this is our city's crown jewel, and it will be this way for at least another 100 years. I want to thank our park institutions. It's been mentioned, you know, the park is only as good as the institutions that are here, the attractions that can bring people in, the exhibits, the displays, the things that folks that come in San Diego and tourists alike want to come and see. And the institutions have been incredibly patient with this project, project and process. So to each of the institutions, particularly our West End neighbors who went under an extraordinary campaign to remind people they are open for business and they welcome you to come. I know this has impacted your attendance. I know it has impacted your employees. But I appreciate and I hope that you can acknowledge uh, that this is about a once every 100 year uh, exercise. Uh, so you're going to be good for at least a century, right? Uh, and then lastly, I want to thank our city staff, uh, especially Bill Harris, um, who helps uh, do all good things in the city. If, it's, if something's good happening, it's probably Bill that's involved and our folks over at transportation. Uh, and then actually, very lastly, I want to thank the men and women who are behind us. Guys, uh, I hope that you can look at this project many, many years from now and be able to point to your children and grandchildren and said, I did that. I kept that up for, uh, for this community. You all will have the ability to say that. I hope you take great pride in that. And I hope that the, yeah. 
I hope the expertise and skill that you've brought to bear on the on the top up here is going to be brought to bear in the innards down there because I imagine that's probably even more difficult once you get in the into the bridge supports. But this is a tremendous project. It's a tremendous day. This is an important milestone. And again, thinking about what we're doing as we lead up to the centennial of the 1915 Panama California Exposition, this $38 million investment is just one of many things that Kevin Mayor Faulkner and I hope to bring to bear for our park to make sure that this park is as magnificent 100 years from now as it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Council President. And as uh, both uh, Council President Gloria and Lori have mentioned, uh, we're not finished with this project. There is more great work to come, and there's plenty of work that we're going to be doing before the scaffolding comes down. But when it's completely finished, it's going to be remarkable. And I want to thank particularly, again, all the work and the great staff of our Park and Recreation Department. You're going to see other planters and amenities that are happening in the Plaza de Panama that are coming. You're going to see some of the uh, changes to the food services within the park, uh, more resurfacing of the roads leading right into here. And you know what, we're, we're working real hard to make sure that our 2015 celebration is a celebration that all San Diegans, all San Diegans are going to be proud of. And when we do work like this on this very historic bridge, it will last for another 100 years. This is something that I think all of us are going to look back with a great deal of pride uh, and all of the effort and the energy, uh, it was worth it. Uh, we do great things in San Diego when we come together as a city and work together. And this is a great shining example of that and a lot more to come as we move forward to our 2015 celebration.